Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something pretty unfortunate, but something that happens very, very often in Disney World, and that is stealing. I worked at the largest Disney store in the entire world, so I saw it very frequently. It's crazy just what people try to do and what they try to take. Unfortunately, a lot of people get away with it, but some of the other people are just stealing like right out in the open and it's blatantly obvious. In the short eight months that I worked at the store, I have seen the craziest things, and I wanna tell you guys a few of them today. So I'm gonna start off with the number one most stolen thing in our store, and that's pins. They're just literally pushed through a piece of cardboard so guests will always just take the back off and steal it and then we'll find the cardboard later on during one of my shifts I was working in a particular room and while I was going to um, tidy up everything and straighten it all up I found a mug that was shoved back in a bunch of like plush soap animals and inside of the mug was probably about 15 crumpled up cardboard pieces from the pins so somebody stole about 15 pens and got away with it. Nobody saw. Another thing that is stolen all the time is jewelry. During one of my shifts, I was working the watches and jewelry counter. So I was selling Pandora and watches and things like that. And I had a guest that didn't speak English very clearly and they wanted to try on a necklace and we allow that. So I let her try it on. Um, she's looking at it in the mirror and then she asked if she can leave the counter to go show somebody in her family what it looks like and i said i'm sorry you have to stay here you can't take the behind the counter jewelry around the store you have to stay right here and pay for it right here and um, she looked kind of confused like she didn't understand me and she kept walking away saying i'll be right back i have to go show somebody and kept trying to leave um and i was like you have to stay here but it was pretty obvious what she was doing you know but thankfully uh my leader is standing right behind me and saw the whole thing happen so i mean we've got her to stay around this area but sometimes people do get away with it if they don't know what they're trying to do and this next story is probably the most blatantly obvious one that i've actually witnessed it was the only one to witness i was floor stocking near one of the main doors in our store and there was a man with a stroller that was walking pretty slowly through the room i was in he bent down to look at some stuff and there was a display of Christmas Duffy Bears down at the very bottom near the floor. Um, he crouched down and then he picked one up and was kind of looking at the bear and then literally just threw it under his stroller and walked straight out the door. But I was the only one that saw it, so I went and got one of the security guards that was walking around our store and told him what had happened and that I saw him walk out and the security guard pretty much said, tough luck. That man got away with it that day. During another one of my shifts, there was um, two ladies that were shopping together in the women's department. They went into a dressing room and ripped off tags and tried to steal over 20 clothing items. And another cast member saw it happen, I guess, and called the leader. And before the ladies walked out of the store, they were caught. And unfortunately, when you get caught stealing at Disney World, you get banned for life. So these two ladies got banned from Disney for the rest of their lives, and they're not even allowed to step foot on Disney property. So the police picked them up drove them off to where it's not Disney property and dropped them off there and said tough luck <laughs> and they had to find a way to get their car. So if you want to steal from Disney, I recommend probably not doing it because <laughs> it has huge consequences. There are also countless times that people just walk out of the doors and the alarms will go off and they'll just keep on walking like it never happened. You almost always have somebody standing right in the front by each door to stop people and check the receipt and look through stuff. Cast members also have clear bags behind the registers that we're supposed to give to guests when they ask for extra bags or if it starts to rain and a guest comes in and asks for a bag so they can put their stuff inside, we have to give them a big clear bag because oftentimes guests will take an empty Disney bag, walk into the store, throw a stuffed animal or something in their bag and then go straight up to the register and try to return it without a receipt. So for that reason, we have to give clear bags to people to try to avoid that at all costs. And this last story I'm gonna talk about was probably the craziest thing I have ever seen. So this past year when I was working there, Disney released these giant Lego Cinderella castles. I'm sure you guys have seen them. They are giant. They come in a huge box. And these things are like $300. They're very expensive. And so for that reason, people like to steal them. They came out right around Christmas time. So I assume people wanted to give them to their kids for Christmas and just didn't want to pay for them. We had them in what's called the princess room and it's really close to the doors. And we had a few times that people would literally just walk in, grab a Lego castle and walk out of the store and just start running. <laughs> I mean, those people are usually caught because when you walk out with something this big, people will notice. <laughs> But one time, we had a man that tried the craziest thing. He walked in with um, an empty Lego store bag. It was 
all duct taped up. It had like ripped handles and the whole thing was duct taped. Handles had holes in it that were duct taped. Um, just a really awful old bag. And he walked into a dressing room with a Lego castle and this empty Lego bag. And my leader saw him go in there. Um, he was in there for a few minutes and then he walked out of the dressing room with a Lego castle and the Lego bag that he had brought in, the torn up bag. And my leader asked him um, if he could see the receipt. He said, oh, I don't have a receipt. My wife has the receipt. I just bought this just now in the Lego store. And my leader was like, why is your bag literally torn up, like torn to shreds? This makes no sense. And I saw you walk in there with the Lego castle. <laughs> and the man immediately said, okay, I'm sorry. And then walked away. <laughs> like he didn't do anything, but. So he didn't get away with it, but he didn't get in trouble either since he technically didn't steal it yet but that was probably the craziest thing like why would you bring in a destroyed lego bag and assume that people wouldn't notice that if you're thinking about stealing don't do it unless you want to get banned for the rest of your life it is seriously not worth it people but unfortunately i've seen it happen a ton of times and these are just a few of the craziest stories that i've heard so i hope you guys enjoyed listening to those and I hope it scares you out of stealing. But if you like story times, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't already, please turn on the little bell notification to get notified every time I post a video. But that's all for today's video. So I will see you guys next time.